Alright guys and welcome back for a very quick little video. Uh, just wanted to show you what I'm doing for my John Connor from Terminator Salvation. Uh, got this figure at release, had him on display for about 6-7 years and as a lot of people have through the years uh, the jacket has started to fall apart on him. Uh, mine held up great, barely posed the figure, you know, just kind of just sits on my shelf so it held up pretty well but a few weeks back, uh, the patch fell off, and I reglued it on. I mentioned this in my John Connor uh, version two review. But take a look here; you can see that it's been reglued back on. So if you move it or pose it in the wrong way, it's gonna show. Um, aside from, yeah, it just looks awful. Uh, aside from that, you know, it's got some very minor issues I've seen some flaking uh, I kind of poked it down but as you can see it's just right here there's there's a shot of another piece of it just starting to crack apart you know if you got a pose in the right way you'd never notice it but you know it's falling apart bottom line it's faux leather and you know some of Hot Toys leather, faux leathers really worked out well. The MMS 117, T800, those leathers are fantastic. But unfortunately, John Connor's awesome jacket has not. So I recently picked up a replacement I found, thanks to a buddy on the Sideshow Freaks. Uh, it's something that's been out for, I guess, a long time. I never knew about it. But it's the set uh, for a replacement jacket. It's... It's actually kind of a whole replacement outfit, but here's the jacket. And it's got the full fur lining. And pretty accurate to the John Connor Hot Toys version one. Uh, I noticed a couple of differences right away. The coloring seems just about right. And it's going to make a perfect re replacement, obviously, since this one's falling apart. You know, it doesn't come with the patch. Of course, you could port the original one over. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because the glue might affect the leather on this. This, I don't think, is either real leather either. It's very soft and supple, so it's very nice. But who knows if this is going to hold up long term either. But one of the no differences you'll see, it's got this little tab here. And on the original figure, that tab has a button so it's not a perfect recreation but it's about as good as you're gonna find so I'm gonna take this jacket off and set them up in the new one uh, just a note it was a $50 set on eBay it did come with pants that are not accurate recasted boots which are shiny black which I have no intention of using it does come with a tank top and a belt but of course I only bought the set for the jacket all right guys uh, I'm in the middle of the process and I thought I'd just show you what's going on here I took the jacket off John Connor and just in the process of removing it it just really started to shred uh, you can see it's just falling apart uh, the replacement was definitely badly needed you know it's worse off than I really assumed because like I said I barely moved around the figure just left them on display but just removing the jacket you could see it just started to shred you can see the front here just falling apart it's, it's kind of a shame you know this jacket really set off the figure the whole thing is just completely rotted. And certainly not an inexpensive figure, but as much of an annoyance as it is uh, for people who have the figure, uh, hopefully this solution might help. The biggest problem is this has been out for a while and I didn't know about it. And it's really hard to come by now on eBay. So happy hunting for it 
but if you can and if you're you know you want to keep your John Connor on display I'd say keep an eye out for it uh, because this just looks awful so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue on and get them fully set up and uh, just a quick look because most people probably who have never removed the jacket wonder what's underneath he does have a very dark navy blue t-shirt underneath not that it really matters but thought I'd show you anyway alright guys welcome back so uh, I redid the outfit and uh, the new jacket is now on there um, I didn't put these two little straps through because they're super annoying to get hooked up but I will eventually get it I'll just give you a quick close up and show you what's going on there so it just goes through a couple of loops and then it tucks in there but it's really tight so I'll do that later uh, but just wanted to show you what it looks like with the new jacket on and it definitely fits the bill uh, of course it is missing the uh, the resistance patch I did port over the uh, the red bandana to the new jacket give you a 360 look at it so definitely a huge improvement over the existing jacket that was on him which is of course right here you know really sad to see it so shot up but uh, it is what it is you know and I'm glad I was able to at least uh, get a replacement of some sort. But uh, yeah, just wanted to do that update, guys. And I uh, appreciate uh, taking the time to watch my video. As always, thanks for watching.